Hi everybody, this is Paul Damon, and I'm just going to do something. Uh, is kind of go over uh, our expenses while living in Nicaragua as an expat. Uh, just then, and I have been here now for five years, and we basically do have a budget that we like to work with, which is around $1,200. Can we do less? Certainly, we could do less. Could we do more? Of course, we can. It all depends what, how much you want to spend and still maintain for yourself a good quality of life. So, like I said, we came here five years ago. Uh, we live uh, on a farm. Uh, it's not a, a big farm. I mean, it's a little bit over three acres. And uh, we live here on the farm with our seven dogs, and which is a lot of entertainment. You might hear them bark once in a while while I'm doing this video, with my apologies. Uh, so the dogs have lots of room to roam around, enjoy themselves, etc. So one of the things, part of that budget is, you know, we have to buy dog food. And dog food for seven large dogs is expensive. So we're spending on average um, 50 to 60 70 dollars a week to feed my little puppies or our little puppies and uh, the other thing is uh, since we uh, live on a comfortable acreage uh, we need staff to maintain the property meaning they gotta uh, rake they gotta uh, mow they gotta do whatever it, it is to help us maintain uh, the property as well as uh, make sure that we use uh, good fertilizing methods, that we are uh, working in the gardens, whatever it is. So we have a cost with that too. We have basically uh, one person and we kind of rotate because we really have two people, but I only put one person in this budget. Uh, the reason we have a second person is so that we can do uh, go to work on the weekends. And so we use that as part of our business expense because if we were not working, we would not need that other cuidador. So we also have a cleaning person that comes in here, uh, two, sometimes three, it all depends, uh, to clean and help us do laundry and all the other stuff. Remember, we are basically full-time in real estate and so if you are not working and you're just relaxing, you might not need that. We know some uh, uh, expats, they only get a cleaning lady once a week. So it all depends. What are your needs? What do you want in your lifestyle? Okay. The other thing that we did since we are living here, we actually have a, a casita, a casita meaning a rental unit that we rent out. So that's in here too, uh, but we have not had a renter for now for the second month. So we have had it occupied since we built it uh, 18 months. So that would mean we were occupancy over the two years is what, 80%, 85%. So we're very pleased uh, with that. Uh, just letting an I go out less than we did prior to COVID. Uh, before, we love to go out and have either a lunch or a breakfast, especially breakfast. We still are starting to do that now, but have lunch, meet with other expats, meet with some local friends, and yes, feel part of that community. Either we go to Canada, we go to Masaya, we go to Jinotepe, San Juan del Sur. I mean, we'll go to various locations. It's not always the same place. So you got, again, got to think about that as I'm talking about it so that you can say, okay, he's doing this, but would I do it? Because if, if you don't do it or you do more, take that into account as you are creating your budget, okay? Just remember, we're all different. We paid for a house. You might say, I'm going to rent, but I want to have his lifestyle. Well, at $500, $400, $600? It all depends. What is it that you're looking for? Are you looking for like a condo that you want to rent? 
not right now you can rent the con certain condos anywhere between four six seven hundred dollars again depending which condo you rent depending on the amenities that you want etc as you can see i'm going into detail but because i just want to make sure that you don't think that this is that you can replicate yeah you could replicate it but this is our lifestyle for two people and one thing that some friends have noted is you certainly like wine because you, you do spend a certain amount of dollars on wine. We love wine. And you know what? The wine here is fantastic. Not Nicaraguan wine, but the wine that we are getting imported through Colonia, through Pricemart, through uh, the wine store. There's a variety of places you can buy. And we go to one store and overall we can buy very very good wine italian wine and spanish wine for around a six and a half dollars and in the states i know we would pay more but we feel very very good with that wine so our budget basically went up a little bit our cost but i can also tell you where it went up it went up because we went on a little holiday just then and i took uh five days off and we went to las peñitas the first time for us it's by leon i will uh put a one of the various videos that we took and i'll link it to this video and so for those five days uh four nights uh our overall cost was 575 dollars which was for room board and drinks did we drink? You betcha. Did we have a good time? You betcha. Did we eat? You betcha. We ate pizzas. We ate uh, sushi. We ate uh, paella. And I tell you that paella was so good. It was fantastic. Okay. Again, I'm just giving you some overall feelers uh, for our budget. So our budget, if I had taken out that $500, our budget would have been around $800. The previous, uh, in, when we did it was in May, and that budget was around uh, $1,400. So right now we're at $1,475 for August. So I think we overall did good. There were some areas we didn't spend money on, but overall we felt that we're doing uh, a good trend. Uh, we're still managing uh, I like to be below 1200 and the other thing that we did, we took uh, one of our freezers that we have uh, offline because we didn't need it anymore right now, and that saved us $30. So that gives you a sense, if you use a, uh, a freezer, the cost of using a freezer as it relates for us, it's a large freezer, it is costing us a dollar a day. The other thing you will notice here is that the exchange rate went from $34 to 34 and a half. That's a 10% better purchasing power uh, for us as expats. You know, most of us expats get our money from overseas, not in Nicaragua. But of course, some products are what we call dollarized. You know, you got the gasoline, you got the wines, you know, a lot of things are dollarized. So you really don't feel that 10%. The only time you feel the the 10% more purchasing power is where you go to local restaurants that are not dollarized. There's a few restaurants in town that are dollarized and therefore they win because they get dollars and they can exchange it into um, Cordovas and they will win that 10% appreciation between the dollar and the Cordova. Okay, uh, so that's one item. So let's go to the next one. So like I said, uh, our monthly uh, basically is the same. I mean, if you look at it, it's like a $4 difference. Uh, I mean, 4% difference, not even that. And the big difference, I can explain that by really talking about our cost of vacation, which was 500 some dollars. Okay. So overall, uh, we're very satisfied. I'm looking at my notes here that I, we talk about the exchange. We took the, our freezer offline that saved us basically $30. Our groceries went up by approximately $50. And that $50 uh, 
I can, by looking at my uh, receipts, I can see that most of that was related to supplies for hygiene, hygiene like for COVID, uh, more alcohol because we bought it in bulk. We bought some mascarilla, so we uh, bought ma face masks and things of that sort. So that is a $50 that is more like a one time. So we probably have that expenditure, what, every three to four months, depending how we use it. Um, we had no property improvements, meaning we didn't have any construction. We didn't do any more planting of trees uh, because the season is changing. So we decided not to do that. And like I said, the dog food has gone up a little bit. Uh, and because what we're doing now, we're getting two varieties and mixing. Uh, we see that the dogs are more excited with that new mixture of dog food. Okay. So, so we're at the end of the video. And here I'm going to ask you basically two things. One, uh, please be so kind and subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the notification bottom, uh, at the bottom here where you see my figure going, uh, that will notify you when I have new recordings about different subjects, okay? Uh, feel free to leave a message. Uh, feel free to call us on our U.S. line. Feel free to call us on our local line. Both lines, telephone lines, are on WhatsApp. And you can also follow us on uh, the various social media platforms. So I hope that this was helpful. I will uh, put this also in part of our website with the more details so it's easier to read it. It's kind of hard to read that, I know, on a YouTube video, but at least by me going over it, you get a sense what was discussed. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you taking the time to look at the video, and we hope to see you here in Nicaragua. We truly have enjoyed the, uh, the, the first five years, and we're looking forward to the next five years. Thank you. Have an awesome day.